Welcome back babes. Today I am doing a red carpet inspired beauty tutorial. It's been award season for the last couple of months and I've seen so many gorgeous looks and I actually got to attend a few Oscar parties this year which was pretty amazing. So I wanted to recreate one of my favorite red carpet glam looks for you guys today and I'm super excited because I teamed up with Neutrogena today so I'm going to be using some of my favorite Neutrogena products and I'm going to be featuring the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup Foundation. Not only is this a beautiful natural foundation, it's also a foundation that's great for your skin. Be sure to stay till the end of the video because I have a special little something special for you guys. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button for a lot more makeup tutorials. Plus, if you love a little bit of behind the scenes, add me on Instagram at Iman. All right guys, let's get into this red carpet beauty look. There were a lot of different looks on the red carpet this year, but the one thing that I noticed that almost everyone had was beautiful, luminous skin. I'm gonna start with a little bit of mist. I love doing that before foundation. I think it just like preps your skin for anything you're going to apply. I'm starting off with the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Primer. This also has SPF 15 in it, which is a great base under your foundation. I personally love using primer. I always use primer for any makeup look. This is what really helps your makeup last and it's just a good barrier between your skin and your makeup. So today I really wanna focus on just gorgeous natural radiant skin because there were so many different looks on the red carpet but that was the one key thing that I noticed that everyone had. There were a lot of looks that just were very minimal makeup, very minimal eye makeup, just really beautiful skin. Margot Robbie was probably the one that stood out the most to me. There were a lot of looks that were somewhere in between. So just like a lot of lash and a bold lip. Not a ton of looks that were full glam. I think probably two of my favorites were Zendaya. Her makeup was amazing. And Jennifer Lawrence went like full, full glam, on, especially on her eyes. So today I'll be using the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup with SPF 20. So this foundation is part of the Healthy Skin line from Neutrogena. So it actually improves the condition of your skin over time as you use it. And honestly, who doesn't want that? <laughs> it has vitamin E and natural soy, which is a skin enhancing ingredient. I love that it has SPF 20 in it because you know you're protecting your skin as you're wearing the foundation. It has a very, very lightweight texture to it, but definitely buildable coverage. So you can build the coverage as you apply it. So I'm going to show you guys kind of how I like to wear this. So you're going to see a lot of my natural skin coming through, which is one of my favorite ways to wear this foundation. But I'm also going to show you how, if you want, you can really build up that coverage. So you can get like more of a medium to full coverage look but without the feel of it because it's ultra lightweight so it feels really, really comfortable on your skin. I love this. It's very, very natural. You're still seeing all my beauty marks. Your skin looks healthy and radiant and even. It totally evens out your skin tone but you're not getting that look of heavy foundation on your face. So you guys could see the difference on both sides. But I do wanna show you, you can go back and definitely build the coverage. So I'm just gonna go in now, just apply a little bit more. And I am using my Beauty Blender for this because I know that the Beauty Blender is just gonna help me control the application. For today's look, because it's more of a red carpet kind of vibe, maybe you want your skin to look absolutely perfect and flawless. <laughs> But for an everyday, maybe you want your natural skin to shine through a little bit more. Either way, you can get that with this foundation. And what's so great is that this foundation has key benefits for healthy skin. So it actually makes your skin look better over time. Okay, so that is with a bit more buildable coverage. I love the finish of the foundation. It's very dewy. It definitely does not have like that matte, matte finish. It looks just really radiant on the skin. And this color, number 60 natural beige, is pretty much my exact color. So now I'm gonna finish up the other side so we look even all over. <laughs> So this year was pretty amazing because I got to go to several of the Oscar events, like the big ones. <laughs> and I was in these rooms with like almost every single celebrity you can imagine. And I went to one of the Vanity Fair parties 
and literally everyone was there and then all of a sudden Zendaya walked in and I was like, oh, she looked so stunning and she's so tall and she had just the coolest outfit out. I remember just staring at her and being like, you are so cool. <laughs> so make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video because I'm gonna have some footage, some videos from all the parties that I went to during the Oscars and just a little bit of behind the scenes. I'm using the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Brightening Eye Perfector, which also has SPF 25. This is great for brightening the eye area. Probably the question that I get asked more than anything is, does highlighting and, highlighting and contour really make a difference? It absolutely does. I would say highlighting makes a huge difference, especially underneath the eye area and just like in any key areas. It just gives so much life to your face. You'll really notice it in pictures especially if you don't brighten it underneath your eyes it just kind of can maybe make your face look a little bit dull so this is a really important step as well so you guys can see without even applying any contour just applying a little bit of under eye brightening just brightens up your whole face for the eye today, I'm going to be doing one of the looks that I did during Oscar weekend that everybody messaged me about and said they loved. So I'm starting off with the Marc Jacobs Undercover Perfecting Coconut Eye Primer. This is in the color Invisible, so you can wear this with any eyeshadows. I was really inspired to kind of do something glowy and golden-y because it's the Oscars and the Oscars are golden. <laughs> and at one of the events, I wore a golden top. So it all kind of just came together. Neutrogena has a ton of bronzy eyeshadow palettes. I decided to go with this one today, the Nourishing Longwear Eyeshadow Plus Built-In Primer number 50 Mink Brown. I'm gonna start by applying the nude color from the shadow all over my lid. This is going to be my base color to build on everything else. And then I'm taking the medium tone shadow from the palette. So starting from the base of my lid, working this up to my crease and out past my brows. So this color has a lot of warmth to it, which is gonna be really pretty. I feel like warm tones with these type of bronzy shadows look very, very pretty, more so than cool tones. I'm going for that super bronzy eyeshadow now and I'm switching brushes to go for a bit more of a dense application. So you're gonna get that bronzy tone, but it's still going to be very, very subtle. If you want, you could also spray your brush to get a bit more. Oh my God, I just got spray all over everything. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> just to get a bit more pigment. So I'm taking that same color and now applying a little bit on the lower lash line. The key for this look is just to keep everything really soft. So even though we are applying all of these eyeshadows, they're so monochromatic and neutral that it's not gonna look like a heavy makeup look. It's still gonna look really soft and subtle. And then last, I'm taking the darkest color from the palette, the super dark brown. And now I'm using a brush that's even smaller because I wanna be very careful where I apply this. So I'm getting this color just right at the base of my lashes, but because I'm still using kind of a fluffier brush, it's gonna look really soft and diffused and it's not gonna look like any harsh lines at all. So I'm just basically darkening my lash line halfway in and then as i get to the outer corner i'm just naturally flicking the brush up just imagine how your corner lashes just kind of turn upwards towards that outer corner do you want the shadow to imitate that effect so just like flick 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 as if it's just your eyelashes if that makes any sense <laughs> that was a little bit of a i don't know hard hard thing to explain but i hope you guys get what i mean for my waterline i'm using a combination of two things i'm starting off with the mark jacobs gel liner in this kind of dark brown color i'm gonna apply that as a base color and then over that i'm using the sephora eyeliner in this color glitter copper which has a lot of kind of bronzy tones to it i'm gonna apply that on top of the brown 
brown. Of course, you could always use a black, or if you have like really brown eyes, you can use like a dark purple. Play around with the liner colors. I think this is where you could really have a lot of fun with this look. Time for lashes. I'm gonna be using the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Plumping Mascara and Waterproof. I'm going to be adding individual lashes on top of this. This is what I've been loving lately. So I'm using these ones from Eyelure. I know that individual lashes can seem really, really intimidating, but they're actually super easy to do. Take a little bit of lash glue on the back of your hand. The one that I'm using is the Duo Glue. Take the eyelash with some tweezers. Let me do this so you guys can see. You pop it out. You dip the ball end of the lash in the glue and then you just want to look for like the little gla gaps like where you have gaps in your lashes that's where you're going to apply the falsies. So I have a gap like right in the middle there. So I'm going to stick this as close to my lash line as possible but not on my lash line, more on the hair and that's it. That is how easy it is to apply individuals. Next up, it's time to bronze the skin. I'm using the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blends Natural Radiance Bronzer in the color 30 Sun Kiss. These Neutrogena bronzers are some of my favorites because they have the most beautiful golden tone to them. And you can see they actually have four different shades. It's what gives the most natural kind of looking bronze. Bronzing up the skin is gonna be a key part of this look. I'm gonna show you guys just one little trick I like to do as well. Using a fluffy brush like this, I go in with that bronzer, just swirl it around. And then I like to add a little bit just in my crease. It's going to kind of give that really monochromatic vibe really just make everything work together and then a little bit along the lower lash line. There you go. For the cheeks, I'm using one of my faves. This is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blush number 10 Rosy. And I'm just gonna pop this just right on the apples of my cheeks. And this is a really soft kind of rosy pink. Also has like a lot of peachy undertones to it, so it goes beautifully with the rest of this makeup. For the lips, I'm starting off with this nude color from Bare Minerals. I want something to be like very monochromatic with the rest of the makeup. This has a lot of peachy undertones to it, which goes really well with this look. And then over that, I'm using this gorgeous highlight color from Smashbox, right in the center of my lip, and then just blending it with my finger. I'm adding just a bit of a shimmery gloss, just right in the center. So that is my red carpet inspired beauty tutorial. I hope you guys love this look and make sure you check out all the products that I use in the description box below, including the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation. And as a little special something, Neutrogena and I have decided that we are going to give away all the Neutrogena products that I used in today's look for three lucky winners. All I need you guys to do is leave me a comment below letting me know what your favorite look from the Oscars were or just what is your go-to night out glam look. That's it, super easy. I'm gonna announce some winners in one of my upcoming videos. And now, as a special little treat, I'm also going to share with you guys some of my behind the scenes from Oscar weekend, which was so surreal. I got to go to the Vanity Fair Oscar party, I went to the Women in Film Oscar party, and I went to a viewing party. So here's a, here's a little sneak peek, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much, I love you, and I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye. I'm wearing a red suit tonight for the Vanity Fair Oscars party and I'm late so I gotta go. Okay guys, so this is last look of the day. 
because I don't think it's stressy enough to be honest. I didn't realize I was going to be walking the red carpet with every Oscar nominated person. We're going to make the best of it and act like I belong there. <laughs> so for makeup, I just went bronzy, soft, kind of bronzy, sminky, nude. I'm trying to be really cute, but Viola Davis is walking the carpet right now and I'm the next one. I'm so nervous. <laughs>